In this video, we'll convert 1.66 moles of AlOH3 to grams. This is aluminum hydroxide, and the 1.66, that's just the number I made up for this video. So we have our 1.66 moles of aluminum hydroxide, and we're converting from moles to grams. So moles to grams, we have our moles here, and we want to get to grams. We're going to multiply by the molar mass. That gives us grams. So the molar mass, we find that by going to the periodic table and adding up the masses of each element, adding them together. If you need help finding the molar mass of aluminum hydroxide, there's a link in the description to help you do that. So we find the molar mass and we get 78.01 grams per mole. The units for molar mass, grams per mole. Now when we multiply, we have moles on top and the bottom. They cancel out. That gives us the grams. And that's what we're looking for. So we know we set this up correctly because the moles canceled out, left us with grams. We multiply and we get 129.50 grams of aluminum hydroxide. So to recap, we're going from moles to grams. So moles to grams, we multiply by the molar mass. That gives us the grams of aluminum hydroxide. If we were given grams and asked to find how many moles of aluminum hydroxide we had, we just do the reverse. We have grams, so we're going to divide by the molar mass. We do that. That gives us moles of aluminum hydroxide. This is Dr. B converting 1.66 moles of aluminum hydroxide to grams. Thanks for watching.